Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you the difference between let and const in JavaScript and when you should use one over the other. Now one thing before we start, var is going to be left out of this conversation and the reason is, is because let and const were designed to replace var and its flaws so in all your future projects, you should be using let or const. There is almost no reason to use var anymore. Okay, so what is the difference between let and const? Well, let's begin with const. So, const allows you to assign a value to an identifier. Okay, so for example, I can say const a is equal to 20. And then in my JavaScript code, whenever I write out a, it just means the value of 20 and that is basically what a constant is but the most important thing about a constant is that you cannot reassign the value once you have already assigned it okay so for example if i want to say a is now equal to 30 this code right here is going to give me an error i cannot reassign that value okay so this now brings us to what let is so let works in the same way as const but with let you can actually reassign that value so for example this right here saying you know let a equal to 20 then saying a is now equal to 30 this right here is going to be perfectly fine and the code is going to run so that is your key difference between let and const let allows you to reassign that value const does not allow you to reassign your values. So now knowing this difference, uh, you know, when should I use const and when should I use let? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, in my own personal experience, I'm using const much more than let. In fact, I'm going to say in 90% or more of situations, I'm using const. And the reason is simply because in JavaScript, you're not going to find yourself having to reassign a value once you have already assigned it. For example, getting a return value from a function is typically done once and then you continue to reuse that value. The same goes for uh, getting a reference to an HTML element, for example, using uh, document.getElementById. Typically, when using these, you don't need to reassign that value once you have already got it. So that is why using const is much more uh, common scenario compared to using let. But of course, let has its own use cases. So I find myself using let in situations where I'm doing calculations or I'm writing code around an algorithm. So in those situations, you're going to want to temporarily store variables or, you know, while you are looping through an array, you might want to store uh, a reference to an element, whatever it might be. In those cases, let is definitely the way to go and it's required because of course you need to reassign that value then eventually return it. So uh, that is your difference right there and when you should use one over the other. Now one very important thing to mention here is that you should not be using let when you intend to modify an object or array. So I'm going to be showing you a quick example right here as we can see. I'm declaring an object we're saying let my object is equal to a new empty object. So I'm doing this using the let keyword. Then a few lines below, I am uh, I'm assigning a value to a key inside the uh, inside the object. So you might see this code and think, okay, that's perfectly fine. You know, we're simply you know changing the value of something inside the object. So we need to use the let keyword, but that is not the case it's actually better practice to use const here and the reason why is because we are not actually reassigning the value of you know the my obj constant okay so we're not changing the value here we're not we're not reassigning the value we are simply changing what's inside the object so in this case right here we can use the const and we should use const and the same goes for adding or removing items from an array. As we can see here, we're using const to declare the array and we are happily, you know, pushing and removing elements right below. And that's going to work perfectly fine. So this, this sort of comes down to what I was saying when I mentioned const should be used in many more situations than let because you can in situations like these. 
And the very last thing to mention here about let and const is that they are block scoped. So what this means is when I say block scoped, it means that if you declare a constant or you use let inside a block, you cannot access that information outside that block. So blocks include things like functions or if statements, um, switch statements, things like that. Anything inside the uh, uh, the uh, curly braces, um, you know, declaring a constant or let inside there, you cannot access it from outside. And it's something important to know because, uh, you know, the var keyword back in the day was function scoped. So you could access that outside uh, those uh, those blocks. So there you go. That is the difference between let and const in JavaScript. If you enjoyed this video, I've got plenty more on my channel. And if you want to, please subscribe. It helps me out. And of course, look, you're going to be seeing a lot more content like this. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.